Ağabeyiz vazife tahire tevradı Resul'e sahabı gizin efendilerimizin sayır enbiyay zemme Resul'e feyin haziratın erva şeriflerine Pirimiz Bilal Ahabeş radıyallahu anh Efendimizin mualel husutu bayinin bayinisi ve bugüne kadar içerisinden gelmiş geçmiş iman ve ezzin kayımlarının ve kahve ehleyin ervahı için Allah rızası için el Fatiha. Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim İnnallâhe ve melâiketehu yüksellin alen nebi ya eyvellezine amenu sallu aleyhi ve sellimu teslima Allahümme salli ala seyyidina Muhammedin ve ala ali seyyidina Muhammed Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Allahu ekber Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Hayya ve selam Hayya ve Elhamdülillah, elhamdülillah, elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin ve salatu ve selamu ala rasulina muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. Nehmedullah ta'ala ve nastafiru ve eşhedü en la ilahe illallah ve ahdehu la şerike lah. Ve eşhedü enne seyyidina muhammeden abduhu ve habibuhu ve rasuluh. Sallallahu aleyhi ve alihi ve zvacihi ve sahabihi ve tabihu la fe raşidin mahadin min ba'di ve uzra immati ala tahakik. Huzuzan minhu ala immatihu la fe rasulina ala tahakik. Ömer el-Mü'minin, Hazreti Ebu Bakr, Ömer Osman ve Ali ve ala bakiye sahabe tabi nirdanullah ta'ala aleyhi mecmain. Ya yuhal mü'minun el-hazirun. İttekullah ta'ala ve tevi innem el-lezine teke ve el-lezine hum muhsinun. Elhamdülillah, estağfirullah. We are thanking our Lord that he has created us from the children of Adam. And he has granted us faith. How much should we thank? Non-stop. Non-stop we should be thanking. But dunya is fooling us. This world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us in one ayat, this dunya, this dunya's life is only very temporary and very little enjoyment you are going to get out of it. It's only a game. The real life is the life of ahirat. Hereafter. Prepare yourself for that. Today, from the kindergartens to the universities, from the workplaces to anywhere you go, imams, masjids, mosques are concentrating people for dunya, the world. 124,000 prophets came to the world. None of them came to the world to live in the world. None of them came to tell people, come to dunya, have better jobs, have better education. No, ed no, they did not. Education, studying and learning is obligation. It is farce in Islam. It is obligation for the boys and for the girls. It is obligation for the child from seven years old up to seven years, 70 years old. From the crib to the grave, it is obligation to learn. But to learn what? What is it that we have to learn? Are we going to learn this dunya? This dunya that Allah is saying to us, it's only temporary and there's only very little benefit in it? Or should we concentrate on ahirat? All prophets were coming to tell us, turn your face. Face means your love, your attachment. From this dunya to ahirat, from dunya to maula, from this life to the ahirat life. From this temporary life 
to the eternal life that is waiting for you. This is what we have to concentrate on. This is what we have to be busy with. This is what we have to sit and think all the time. How I did today? Today I got up again. Why did I get up? Did I get up for the sake of Allah? To live for Allah's sake? Or I got up for this dunya? If you're getting up for this dunya, then there's very little benefit. Allah is saying, if you're getting up for Allah's sake, to live for Allah's sake, then this dunya is coming free with it because you're aiming for ahirat life. It's like a farmer who's planting grain. When he's planting the grain, no farmer is planting grain to collect straw. Everyone's planting the grain to multiply the grain, to get more out from it. But the straw, it comes free. It grows with it and you take the straw free. This dunya is just like that straw. The ahirat life is just like that grain you're planting. So the Holy Prophet is saying to us, when the angel of death comes to you, three things go with you to the grave. Three things accompany you to the grave. One is your family, the other one is your wealth, and the other one is your good deeds. Your good deeds, your good actions, your good ways of lifestyle stays in the grave with you. Your family and your wealth, they turn back. In the 21st century, not even your family comes to your grave anymore. As soon as you die, they leave you over there and they don't bury you until they finish the fighting of dunya. So for what? For what all this? For a little bit of food that we're going to eat? Or to say, I'm going to leave it to my children. Which children? Those children who are going to fight for who's going to take more and they're not even going to turn to look at you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a lesson. Teaching us who we are and what we are. We're all like this. Yes, the children of Adam are all like that. Exceptions are those who turn around and take their ego under their control. And their mind, their faith, and their spirit is ruling on their ego. If the man is saying, yes, I'm that one, then that one must be aiming for ahirat. If the man is saying, yes, I'm controlling my ego, my ego is under my control, my faith is strong, I have high intelligence, my spirit is very happy, then that one's aim is ahirat. He is looking to ahirat. He cannot look for dunya. As soon as you turn and you look at dunya, the burden starts, the heaviness starts. So this is a lesson to us, to you and to me, to the whole mankind. Allah is speaking to us, saying to us who we are, what this world is, what is waiting for us on the other side, and who is He, and what is it that we have to do with that one. You may delay it. Delay as much as you want. The Holy Prophet is saying, if you're delaying today's job for tomorrow, you've already lost. You've already perished. Do you know when the angel of death is going to come to you? Instantly. When you're making that corner, he's waiting. Sometimes we go through that and we're still not waking up to understand. Azrael was there. You didn't see the figure. That's true. But all actions are showing that you are just a second away from death. So you think you're brave then? Challenging? Challenging death? Challenging ahirat when you're not ready for it? That is an ignorant man. Ignorant man is he who doesn't know he's challenging death. Yes, the ignorant man is that one who's sitting on two wheels, going on top speed, and is giving his life to one little stone on the road. That one is ignorant. He's not knowing what's waiting for him there. There is no protection. Yes, you may say you're standing here and the building may fall on top of your head. That is beyond your control. It's not in your hand. But certain things are in your hand. It is in our hand. And we have to take control on that. And if we don't, then we pay a price for that too. So one day the Holy Prophet والسلام, was passing through next to a wall. And that wall was cracked. 
any time it may collapse. And when he came to that station, near that level, he started moving fast from there. He moved fast, and after he passed that wall, he slowed down. The Sahabi said, Ya Rasulullah, are we running away from the Qadar of Allah, from destiny? No, he said, we're running away from the open signs of Qaza, accidents, to the destiny of Allah. We're escaping from here. We don't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but Allah is showing us the danger there. So we should not play here. We should move. We should move from here fast to our destiny. This is what we have to do. Death is waiting for us. We didn't taste the death yet. Every one of us are going to. We cannot escape from it. No man is going to escape from it. There's only one man who escaped from it until now for over 2,000 years. Isa alayhi salam. He's coming back to the world to die. One of the biggest reasons that he's coming back to this world is to taste death. Because he went up with his spirit and with his, physic, with his physical body together and he's going to come back to this world to die, to give that spirit and that body will go under the ground to be prepared for the judgment day. No man is going to escape from that. We cannot. Yesterday we were inside our mother's womb. Today we are standing on top of this ground. Tomorrow we are going to be in it. So as much benefit going to get from this world, run to the world. Holy Prophet is saying to us, as much as you're in need of this dunya, run to this dunya. As much as you're in need of ahirat, run to ahirat. So an intelligent man must sit and think, how much do I need this dunya and how much I need the ahirat? And that is according to your faith. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah alazim alazi la ilaha illa wa hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayh tawbatan la ilaha illa Allah wa la ilaha illa Allah wa la sharika la ilaha illa Allah wa la sharika la la ilaha illa Allah wa la ilaha illa Allah